Hare Krishna, we continue reading from Bhagavad Gita as it is. We are on chapter 9, the most confidential knowledge. Text 32. Mam hi partha vyapa shritya. Mam hi partha vyapa shritya. Ye apisyo papa yona yaha. Ye apisyo papa yona yaha. Striyo Vaishyas Tatha Shudras. Striyo Vaishyas Tatha Shudras. Te api yanti param gatim. Te api yanti param gatim. O son of Pratha, those who take shelter in me, though they be of lower birth, women, Vaishyas, merchants, and Shudras, workers, can attain the supreme destination. So, purpose by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Samishla Prabhupada, it is clearly declared here by the Supreme Lord that in devotional service, there is no distinction between the lower and higher classes of people. You know, we, we may think somebody is lower, somebody is higher, but Krishna doesn't think like that. For Krishna, each of us is his child. We are all, Krishna is the supreme father. Every living entity belongs to him. In the material conception of life, there are such divisions. But for a person engaged in transcendental devotional service to the Lord, they are not. Everyone is eligible for the supreme destination. Now, one may say, I'm not born in a Brahmana family. One may say, I'm born in a particular society which is very degraded one may say i'm not qualified enough i do not have enough learning i don't all these are material designations they nothing can stop nothing material can stop us to engage in devotional service everyone can engage in devotional service does not matter what is the position everyone is eligible to go back home back to godhead why because it's everyone's home it's not that the home is only for certain living entities. No, each and every one of us. Each and every one of us is eligible to engage in devotional service and go back home, back to Godhead. We simply have to uh, approach Krishna. We simply have to engage in devotional service. And anyone can engage in devotional service. Anyone and everyone. There is no previous qualification needed. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 2, Chapter 4, Text 18, it is st stated that even the lowest, who are called chandalas, dog eaters, can be purified by association with a pure devotee. So Bhagavatam says that association with a pure devotee can purify anyone, anyone, no matter how fallen we are. We can get uh, purified. We can engage in devotional service. Therefore, and we, we see how, does anyone remember, does any um, instance come to, any pastime comes to, to anyone's mind? How by association with a pure devotee, somebody was completely changed? The, the prostitute. When she came in association with Haridas Thakur, her life completely changed. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That's, yes, even that's a good one. Yeah. Prahlad Maharaj, uh, not Prahlad, Dhruv Maharaj, when he came in association of a pure devotee, Narad Muni. Uh, but Dhruv Maharaj was not Valmiki. sinful. Valmiki. Valmiki. Uh -huh. Valmiki. But Dhruv Maharaj, but he. He made him his guru, right? When he came in association with Narada. Yeah, but we are saying, yeah, that's right, that's right. But oh, yeah, that, oh, oh you things. are saying that, oh, okay. No matter what, what we are mm. being doing, no matter how sinful mm. we are, mm. coming in association yeah, with the pure you know, Yeah. Mrigari yeah, the so hunter. Then, yeah, Mrigari the hunter, yeah. You know, no matter mm. what. Oh, Jadai what, Madai, they were so Jadai sinful, Madai. they... Yeah, that's right. In association of Nitya so 500 Nitya. years ago, there was one Jagai Madai. Mm. Now we are all Jagai Madais. But mm. we all, by the association of pure devotee, can 
engage in devotional service. Therefore, devotional service and the guidance of a pure devotee are so strong that there is no discrimination between lower and higher classes of men. Anyone can take to it. The most simple man taking shelter of the pure devotee can be purified by proper guidance. So anyone, everyone, irrespective of country, community, class, genders, nation, society, anyone, according to the different modes of material nature, men are classified in the mode of goodness, brahmanas, the mode of passion, kshatriyas or administrators. Sorry, um, there's too much reflection. The mode of passion is for kshatriyas or administrators, the mixed modes of passion and ignorance, vaishyas or merchants, and the mode of ignorance, shudras or workers. So, based on the gunas, based on the gunas, the society was divided originally like this. The people in the mode of goodness, they would be the brahmanas, they would be engaged in all brahmanical activities, studying scripture, teaching scripture, deity worship, giving charity, taking charity, teaching deity worship, engaging in deity worship. So they were the brahmanas. Then mode of passion, the administrators, the kshatriyas, the leaders, the, the managers, then mixed mode of passion and ignorance are the Vaishyas, the, the bankers, banking, trading, farming, agriculture, cow protection. And then mode of ignorance, Shudras. They cooperate with all the other sections of society. They, they give their personal services. Those lower than them are called Chandalas. They are born in sinful families. So in the Varna Sharma society, Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, they were all within the Vedic society. Then there would be the Chandalas, Malachas, who were out of the society because they would engage in sinful activities, wouldn't follow the four regulative principles. That's the reason they were called Chandalas or Malachas. Generally, the association of those born in sinful families is not accepted by the higher classes. But the process of devotional service is so strong that the pure devotee of the Supreme Lord can enable people of all the lower classes to attain the highest perfection of love. We see that. We see how Prabhupada, Prabhupada, the pure devotee, he, he, he went to the West and he completely changed the lives of the, the people. Till, till today, by his books, we are being inspired. Till today, he's changing our lives. So this is the association, power of association with a pure devotee. This is possible only when one takes shelter of Krishna. As indicated here by the word Vyapashritya, one has to take shelter completely of Krishna. Then one can become much greater than the great gyanis and yogis. So Prabhupada is saying the point, the, the main point is take shelter of Krishna. Krishna says, surrender unto me. And that's what we should do, depend on Krishna in all um, circumstances. Depend on Krishna. See every situation in relation to Krishna. Take shelter of Krishna. The more we hear and the more we chant, the more we can take shelter of Krishna. Are there any comments or questions? So there is no, there is not that, oh, only I can engage in devotional service and others cannot. Or that, oh, I cannot engage in devotional service and only others can. No, everyone can. Anyone and everyone. We are, after all, all living entities. We are all spirit souls. We are not the bodies. So everyone can engage in devotional service. The differences are only based on the body. But devotional service is transcendental. It's the eternal activity of every living entity. It's the sanatan dharma of every living entity. To engage in devotional service. So, 
Tant pis, il faut te dire. Bhagavad Gita ki chai, Shlapro Pad ki chai, Gaur Bhaktavinda ki chai, Hare Krishna.